you guys welcome back to southern latitudes this is actually the same day for me as it was the day i did um, some of the trimming and pruning in the food forest but it's it's going to be a separate video for you guys because i thought it kind of deserved its own fun video um right behind me is the mexican sunflower plant and um it's really cool because it grows super fast it is highly nutritious uh, for uh, making your own uh, homemade compost tea and I, I can feed a lot of plants when I'm not supposed to do fertilizer otherwise in my county and most of coastal Florida uh, you are definitely not allowed to fertilize because it goes into the watershed and the water runoff and goes in the river and creates algae blooms which uh, has then massive kill off uh, for fish. So in order to respect that, I years, a couple years ago brought in uh, one of these Mexican sunflowers. Thank you, Steve and Marilee for um, gifting me with one of your uh, bushes. So anyhow, it is right here. It's gorgeous, it's huge. That's why we're gonna kind of stay off of it and it's gonna grow back really fast. So, um, but I, I absolutely want you guys to see like sort of like a you know the the coming down of the tree are you ready for the first section All right, you guys, that was fast work, but um, it's oh. down. <laughs> Buddy here's the neighbors. Uh, I gotta pull it off, yank it off of the pineapple, and there is rosemary over there, which is really smelling so lovely. As you can see, I have taken it down to like a two feet or less everywhere. I will strip all the leaves off of it. I think you can use the canes as well. I may find something else to do with the canes. I, I'm not sure. I, I may like create a structure. I was actually thinking about that uh, for the Halloween fall um, decorating or something. So uh, I don't know. I'll do that off camera when I figure it out. I might have to Google some ideas but uh, or Pinterest it or something. But as you can see, it's all down. Lots of light coming in. Afternoon light will now hit my Grumachami cherry. It looks like, oh, there's something sitting on it. That's why it's got a little leaning branch right there. Um, and then there's a beauty back there, which I got to also take out. But now this gives me some compost tea. I will be able to create compost and fertilize uh, all the new babies when they finally get transplanted in a few weeks, a couple few weeks. Won't be long, it'll be here. So I hope you enjoyed that. You'll be amazed. Uh, subscribe. Make sure you subscribe because you'll see in future videos, I will point it out to you how fast this thing is growing. And it's just an unbelievable plant. It has so many good uses in the garden. So, And I might even take a couple more and create a couple more hedges. I'm not sure if we'll go that way. Or uh, I may end up putting a little bit across the back fence there. That's, that's something I was thinking and in order to like block the house that's back there just kind of make it feel a little bit more foresty back here in private and uh also they just put a patio set out there and you know the noise it'll having mexican sunflowers over there or whatever tree bush we put in there will help cut down on the noise 
So anyhow, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this little video. Take care, God bless, and I will see you in the future. Next video, bye.